Hey there guys, welcome back to Nimby Rails. Today we're going to look at the Luas Tram. Luas? Luas? I'm not sure how it's pronounced. It's spelt L-U-A-S. feel like it should be Luas. Um, we're going to start down here at the point, at the end of the red line, because it's a good place I need to start. Make it a tram. Have a little station. Apparently there's a third platform. We're going all out at this tram. Give it a name. Call it the point. There we go. And then... Probably looks like it goes along the road, let's be honest. So, I need to have some points. And they come down to here. And the other side of the crossover. We add in like so. Sorted. I don't know where the next station is. The next station is Spencer Dock. I say station. Stop. Um, I think it goes there, by the looks of it. Spencer Dock. And just connect the track in. After that, we carry on to Mayor Square NCI. Some of the uh, some of the stop names are quite lengthy. I'll be honest. Is it there? I feel like it is. My map looks completely different to my reference image, as usual. NCI. So we come along here. We have to go up onto a bridge to come back off the bridge. And there we go. Mayor Square NCI. On our way to Connolly. Next stop is George's dock. What did George do to get his own dock? I'm intrigued. I'm assuming it's some sort of Irish history that I don't know about. That feels likely. Let's uh, push that up a little bit. George's Dock. And... Oh, we're still still not in a position where I can connect straight from one station to the next. I have to have an intermediate node. Um, oh, we're chucking accents in now. Fun. I can't type accents, so this will be interesting. Just trying to work out exactly where to put it. I think it goes here. So, this this will be fun. Can I do... Oh, I can do that. Okay. It's a good thing that's the accent I need and not the other way around. So I did that by holding the alt key on my keyboard. alt -R. It allows you to insert some accents. But not all accents. So it's very lucky that that was the one I needed. <laughs> um, I'm just going to neaten up that curve a little bit. There we go. We can come off up here, and on the other side, like so. And actually, by the looks of it, we don't come off onto the road, we go onto there. Which means that is going to struggle a little bit. Okay, I'm going to need to do this all again. It's actually going to be in my best interest to have that as the main line. This... Hello, please play ball. Branches off. And then off there. And off here. There we go. 
up to a tram stop roughly there. I might have a bit of creative liberty with where this one is, just so that it connects up to the station, and I don't have to use a pedestrian path. I'll put it a bit further away than it is in real life. But I have a crossover. And the other way. There we go. We've made it to Busaras. Now we carry on. It gets a bit confusing here because it actually turns out it connects to the green line. I didn't realise the red and green line connected because they're completely separate on the map, but they do have connecting curves, so that'll be interesting. Um, the next stop is. I don't even know. The next stop is Abbey Street. Yeah, sorry, the map is. There's a lot on that map. Um, right. Let's see if I can work out where Abbey Street would be then, in relation to everything else. Going to have to zoom out a bit. Looks like it would be down here. Um, here, maybe? Or even down here? My map feels very squashed, north-south, which I presume is a side effect of the new coordinate system that has messed everything up. Abbey Street. Right, this will come up here. I have no idea how we connect up there. Oh right, that's that's not too bad. So it just comes up here and curves around. There we go. We have um, Marlborough Station is here by the looks. Marlborough. And that comes up here and crosses over into there. And also has a curve from there to there. And then a crossover like that. Sorted. Out the other side, the next stop appears to be Jervis, which is a bit of a way away. Up here? Even there, maybe? So we'll put it in there. Oh, the National Leprechaun Museum. I mean, you're just leaning into the stereotype there, aren't you? If you're going to have a museum... Gonna have to acknowledge there's gonna be stereotypes. Um, then back on the green line, the other side of the green line, we have here. O'Connell GPO. Technically, they are kind of uh, an interchange but I'm not sure if I want to connect them together or not. We will see if I change my mind or not, really, won't we? We come off there, up to here. There we go. Sorted. Um, right, where do we go after Jervis? Yes, that's the next thing. Four courts. Right. Let's see if I can find that on my map. Oh, it's a bit of a way down, actually. 
They start spreading out a little bit. Looks like it's there. Four quartz. And we come along here and into there. How much more of this line have we got? There, oh, this is a long line. Okay. There is quite a bit to go. Right then. Um, Smithfield next. Not too far away, it's just here, I think. Smithfield. Like so. And then there's a crossover like this. Sorted. Uh, then Museum is the next stop, up by the National Museum of Ireland. As you know, all things considered, pretty sensible place to put it. If you're going to name a stop museum, you should put it next to your National Museum. Museum. And connect back along the road. There we go. And the next stop is Houston. So, this is the interchange with Dublin's other major station that some trains out to the west use that I haven't built yet. So I'm trying to build an interchange with a station that doesn't exist. It's all fun. Houston. So we probably come down here. I'm going to need to go onto a viaduct to get over that river. And that line comes in there. This one comes in there. There's a line out of there to go up there. I'm not happy about that. It looks terrible. And a line off there onto that one. Back along here, onto the road, and connect up. There we go. Out the other side of Houston, the next stop is... Really? It's all the way down there? And it's just called James's. This is James's stop, I guess. Um, James's. You know, just ignore grammatical rules there, put a S after the apostrophe. Oh, what, where to what, who, what, how? Sorry, I had a slight moment there trying to work out what was going on. So it looks like it sort of curves around like that. And then up the road to here, where it splits to the outer two platforms. There we go, down to James's. Now, it occurs to me that the line stops at Houston, so if I can find the timetable, or that there is a, the, yeah, not the line stops at Houston, but there's a terminating platform it's not the dart. I don't know why I'm looking up the dart. It's the Luas. Um, 
from I just yeah I remember now finding finding stuff to do with trams is difficult so operating hours from what was the first stop the point westbound that just tells me what the what time the first and last trams are what if I want to know how frequent they are There seems to be no information regarding that. So. Frequency. Yes, yeah, so they, they operate a 3 to 5 minute frequency in peak and 12 to 15 minute frequency off peak. Which is all very well and good, but how frequently do they operate to each destination? It's almost like they really don't want you to actually travel on it. Well, they straight up don't have a timetable. How would you ever know where your tram where your tram was going? Houston, go. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's any that terminate here. I think they can in peak, maybe, but they don't typically. Anyway, that's what I was trying to find out, because I thought if the one terminated at Houston, I could put in a service, but it doesn't appear to. So we'll leave it there. Because that's long enough for an episode. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed and want more. And I'll catch you in the next one.